entrepreneurship, the National Development Plan that we were just talking about, recognizes that future jobs in South Africa will be created predominantly by small businesses. But that's a pipe dream without entrepreneurs. The latest Global Entrepreneurship Monitor for last year shows that total entrepreneurship activity, or uh, in other words, the percentage of the population involved in entrepreneurship, rose to 9.2%. But that is well below the average for efficiency-driven uh, economies, as they're called, due to unprofitability or problems in accessing finance. 62% of businesses closed last year. Year. So what's to be done? Well, one initiative comes uh, from an unlikely part of the world, the Netherlands. It has launched Orange Corners to support entrepreneurship. And the ambassador uh, of the Netherlands to South Africa, Marissa Gerards, joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us, Ambassador. Is, is this unique to South Africa or something that the Netherlands is doing in, in several countries? Yes. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. It's, it's something that we find important to modernize diplomacy a little bit because as a diplomat, I think it's very important to be really connected to the country where you're, where you're living in and where you're working in. And we are in the middle of so many different networks that combining these networks, adding value and doing something that really contributes to the country where you live in, I think is really mm -hmm. exciting. And in the end, it's win-win. It's good for both countries. It, it is very unusual. I've never heard of an ambassador, an, an embassy, getting involved in development of the country in which it's based. So you say that's a trend in diplomacy or, or something you're trying to kick off? <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're, we're trying to see... Um, how you can actually really use that broker function because you know i'm in touch with big business i meet knowledge institutes civil society mm -hmm. uh, but both here as well as in the netherlands so what we do is we ask big business to donate money we put it in a trust and we connect knowledge institutes both from the netherlands as from south africa to invest in these entrepreneurs that we're going to train in these three orange corners that we opened yesterday here in gauteng and it's a bit unusual but i like the experiment Okay, so it's called Orange Corners. I understand right. about 30 entrepreneurs are already benefiting. Yes. Uh, it's, it's going to start with them. Yeah. What sort of support will they receive? Right. We will have three corners in three existing business hubs or co-location spaces. That's why we call it a corner. So one is open in Maboneng. The other one is in the township Deep Sloat in the skill center. And the third one will be in the WITS incubator. And in each of these three locations, we will train 15 entrepreneurs for a year. So they will receive from us training uh, from the different knowledge institutes and also from the SEED Academy. Um, they will also get business support by a few consultants who said we will contribute in kind. KPMG, Beren Schott, they said we will help them uh, with legal advice, with business advice. But we will also give them mentors and expose them to good networks and, and help them to get funding as well by, by assisting them in drawing up their business plan. So it's very concrete, it's very tangible. Mm. So, so these are the partners, KPMG, I think Heineken as well. So you're connecting them uh, to these entrepreneurs. Yeah. And it sounds like you're also uh, hooking into things that are already happening maybe in Maboning. Is, is that correct? Right, right. Yeah, so we have four big partners, Shell, Heineken, Nick of Wopak and Royal Haas Koning. And then we have the consultants who are helping us, Tom, Tom Tom as well, and, and some of the university, which university is also a partner, as well as another university in the Netherlands. And in Maboneng, you have the, the, the business hub, the co-location uh, working space. And, and so we connect to that. In Deep Sloat, you have the skill center. So it's more oriented to the grassroots entrepreneurs. And the WITS incubator just opened on 28th of August. So we think it's, it's more interesting to connect to what's happening in South Africa instead of, for example, organizing it in the embassy, because then it's kind of isolated. Mm. So we're trying to see how can we add value by connecting the networks and by, by, by connecting the people between our two countries. And, and how do you choose the beneficiaries? Right. Well, we had a contest and we asked Seed Academy f to select for us. So we told them that we would like to focus on grassroots entrepreneurs in Deep Sloat, that we would like to um, focus on the uh, creative sector in, uh, in Maboneng and more the ICT, um, high tech disruptors in, in, uh, uh, in which university incubators. So that was a little bit of the, the rough criteria. And then they got a boot camp for two days. So they were trained first on how to really voice and, and uh, you know, to explain their idea to us. And then there was a jury and they had to perform and they had to compete. And the best mm -hmm. ones were chosen. Um, 
and they will receive this, this program for a year. The company is committed for three years to start with. Um, and let's see, we will experiment a little bit. It will be trial and error as well to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, and, and, and new elements are added. For example, we have a Netherlands Education Support Office. They came to me and they said they would like to see if they could make kind of an exchange program. Also mm. to see if they can get some of the entrepreneurs go to the Netherlands. My colleague in Maputo called me and she said, great idea. Can I also open an orange corner in Maputo? And I said, yes, let's do it. Because then we can also connect these entrepreneurs. So it's a little bit Beautiful. of an experiment. We'll have to see where we end up. Well, what is the state of entrepreneurship in the Netherlands um, and maybe even in other parts of the economy? What, what do you think we as South Africa or as entrepreneurs, would-be entrepreneurs in South Africa can learn from, from your country? Right. Yeah, I, I think really we can learn from, from one another because um, my country, the Netherlands, we always have been a, a country of traders. Uh, so also there is a great entrepreneurial spirit. You can see that with some of our universities, they have incubators. So students in their last year, they can you know, um, kind of move to the incubator and start their small business there and still have lots of support. Mm. So what we try to do also is to connect these incubators. Prof Barry, for example, from the incubator of, uh, of WITS is traveling to the Netherlands in October mm. and we're going to introduce him to our incubators. And, and I think these kind of people-to-people -people contacts, exchanges, we can learn from one another and we can be better. One-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one is always three, I think. The, there's a, a problem in South Africa. We know that a lot of people are starting their own businesses just because they have no yeah. other option. Uh, but then the, the research I've looked at, it doesn't seem like they're going to create jobs, you know, because they're not those passionate entrepreneurs. Um, so. Are you looking for, for more that raw passion, the, the people who have always wanted to do mm -hmm. their own thing? Yeah. Or, or is there hope for someone who even stumbles into this sort yeah. of thing? I think there's always hope. And, and I'm, I was so impressed because yesterday in Mabo Neng, we opened our Orange Corner and we introduced our 30 entrepreneurs. Four of them gave us their pitch and their passion, you know, their, their, their energy, their ideas. I mean... It was really something. Um, we had a panel as well with Bonang Mohali from Shell, for example. And his story, I mean, it was so inspiring. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very hopeful for this country. Mm. I think entrepreneurship can really add to inclusive growth. All right. Well, I hope it grows in leaps and bounds. Thank you uh, for Thank telling you so us much. about that initiative, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Marissa Gerards. And that, unfortunately, all we have time for.